best player I've played with has probably got to be Ji So Young, and she's just technically incredible. Probably Alexia Patelis, and I think, you know, just speaks what she's achieved as to why she's the best. Best match I've ever played in is the semi-final against Nigeria in the Women's AFCON and it was just an incredible atmosphere and just the whole, you know, minute to minute was a great experience and got us to the final. Probably one when I was about 15, I caught it in between my knees on the halfway line, flicked it out and volleyed it from the halfway line right into the top bins. I'm still waiting to do that in my professional career. I wasn't there, but Wayne Rooney's overhead kick against in the derby was pretty nice, but I saw it on TV if that counts. Cho at the moment, just because she's so consistent and her footwork and everything she does, she's so technical, so probably Cho at the moment. Uh, um, we've got a couple jokers, but Kez Harrop is definitely up there. She's just constantly on banner. I mean, sometimes doesn't know when to stop, but yeah, probably Kez is the biggest joker. Best friend in football. You know, I've got a couple just from where we've grown up together. Leah Williamson, Drew Spence, um, just because we've known each other for so long and we've rode the highs together and rode the lows together, so those guys. Best piece of advice is probably to always enjoy it. You know, if you're not doing something that you enjoy, then you're probably not going to succeed at it. So enjoy what you're doing. 100% best atmosphere is the Women's AFCON this summer. I just, if I could put it in a box and open it up and show everyone, it's just, it was incredible. Like, it's so hard to put into words how insane it actually was. Best stadium I've played in is probably the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's just, it's so nice inside. The pitch is unbelievable. And you know, when it's packed, it's a real atmosphere, so. That's a tough one. Shaleen is pretty well-dressed. Jess Naz is pretty well-dressed. One of those two. Oh, yeah, everyone else is questionable. Bless her soul, Esther Morgan, probably, but she's just so cute. But, you know, she's only young, so maybe I was badly, I'm probably still badly dressed, but yeah. Burner Boy's new album is just insane. It's so catchy, and I literally have listened to it on repeat for probably about five days straight. Burner Boy, because his music is insane, and it's catchy, and it goes with every vibe. I'm not trying to sell his album, but yeah, but I'm a boy.